Benny Blue. I'm an old-time banjo player and folk musician in the Finger Lakes of New York State. And I just wanted to let all my friends and fans know about some really exciting things that are happening this spring. I have two new albums coming out, and I'm going to be promoting them with a national train tour. Uh, So first, a little bit about the music. You might know me from my last record called March of the Mollusk. Um, I described it as Clawhammer Walking Meditations for Modern Humans. It's very mellow, groovy takes on old-time banjo tunes. And if you like that vibe, I think you'll like both of these new records. Um, The first one to come out is called Banjo Meditations. It comes out May 31st. And it really follows the mellow vibe uh, from March of the Mollusk. Um, These are long, slow, uh, sometimes improvisational old-time tunes. And... I think they're good for meditation, uh, being banjo meditations, but also yoga. And because the tunes are so long and they really dive into the therapy that comes from repetitive fiddle tunes, I think they're actually good for just not even listening at all and tuning out and connecting with yourself in the present moment. Uh, Here's a little bit of, of how banjo meditations sound. The next record to come out just one week later on June 7th is called Banjo Jubilations. Uh, this one is a little more peppy, uh, it might be a little more raw, it's recorded live in Ithaca. Uh, it's just banjo and guitar duets. I recorded it with my good friend and longtime rhythmic collaborator Mike Brown. He plays guitar and uh, these tunes are lively, it follows more the groovy direction uh, from the last record and um, these songs would be good for dancing uh, and singing along. So here's a little bit of how banjo jubilations sound. sale right now on Bandcamp. There's a link down below in the description and you can pre-order the digital album but you can also pre-order the CD and I will ship those CDs to you as soon as I get them uh, if you put in a pre-order so you'll have it well before the album is actually released Um, and I will have them with me uh, when I go on my national train tour coming up this spring which brings me to my most exciting piece of news for you all. This spring I will be on a national train tour starting in late April, right after Earth Day, and extending into mid-May. I'll be taking Amtrak from town to town, um, trying to promote a more eco-conscious way for a solo musician to travel. Um, First of all, I just love taking the train. I love the pace of it. I love the fact that as long as you show up to the station on time, Uh, The rest is pretty much out of your hands. You just sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. Look out the window at the country going by. Um, But more importantly, I think we all need to start making choices in how much we do and how quickly we do it. I think the last several decades have seen unprecedented growth, unsustainable growth, 
and we can choose how much we do in this world, how much resources we use, and how quickly we want to move through the world. And uh, so that's why I'm doing this tour on train. I'm going to start out in Frostburg, Maryland at Clatter Cafe, playing a uh, show with the Schotes, uh, some good friends of mine, amazing old time musicians. And then I'll be in Kansas City, Missouri, playing the Waldo Folk Showcase. And then I'll be in Los Angeles, California. Uh, still have some time to fill while I'm there, so if you are interested in having me at your house for a performance or a similar type of thing, uh, let me know. Please reach out. Then I'll be up in Soquel, California, which is near Santa Cruz, playing for the Fiddling Cricket concert series. Then I'll be up in Eugene, Oregon, with my good friend Gabe Schliffer. We're going to play a show together at Tsunami Books on Cinco de Mayo. And then I will be up in Portland um, giving a banjo workshop and doing a performance at the Artichoke on May 8th. So if you're a banjo player in Portland, or if you know anybody, uh, that would be a really good show. And then I'll be up in Seattle. Uh, again, I have some time to fill in Seattle, so please reach out if you want me to come play at your house. And then I'll make my way back eastward. Um, and I might have some more dates to add to the end of all this so stay tuned again there's a link down below for the less is more tour you can follow along and see where i'll be playing which brings me to my last moment of this video so there are a few specific ways that you can help me out with all this and participate uh, in all this excitement um, first of all you can join me in embracing the less is more mantra and slow down with me this spring but more specifically you can head to Bandcamp and pre-order the albums like I said you can pre-order the digital record which you will get once it, the albums are released on May 31st and June 7th or you can pre-order a CD and I will ship it out to you as soon as I have them which will be very soon um, the CD features amazing banjo mandala artwork from my good friend Evan Schapp, a, a tattoo artist in our area. And second of all, you can follow me wherever you digest music. So if you're on Spotify, you can follow me there, Apple Music. Um, it really goes a long way following me there because anytime I release music, I'll have a few singles before the albums come out. And every time that the music is released, if you follow me there, you will be notified that the music is out and you can listen to it, which helps you and helps me. Um, and then also follow me here. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, especially if you're a banjo player. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be um, releasing some tune tutorials for the songs on the upcoming records, but also from March of the Mollusk. And um, I'll be keeping in touch with everyone as I'm on tour with videos uh, from train stations, videos of uh, playing in cool places or interviews with friends of mine or people I meet along the way asking them what less is more means to them. Uh, so first pre-order, second uh, follow along, uh, f f follow my social accounts and thirdly please check out where I'll be on tour. I'll put the graphic up again. Um, if you live in any of these cities Please come to the show and if you know people in these cities or near these cities uh, just let them know there's a soothing old-time banjo player coming to their town and they might really enjoy the show so uh, those are the three ways I could really use your help put in a pre-order at Bandcamp follow me wherever you listen to music and um, follow along the tour and let people know in these cities that I'll be there I would love to meet folks and have good turnout at these shows um, so that's it. I hope everyone is enjoying their spring. I'm looking out at a snowy hillside right now here in the Finger Lakes. Um, but uh, that won't be the case come April and May when I am out hitting the rails. All right, stay slow and in the flow, everybody. I love you. <laughs>